Well, hello again, Stephen Veronica Kibler here, and today we're on Pigeon Forge at the LeConte Center for the Rod Run. Yes, this is the 2024 Spring Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, and let's go in and take a look at what is going on. It is $15 a piece to enter. If you want to go into the LeConte Center, yes, and you can go out to the Strip, which will have another video on the Strip. For the rod run and, and that time. one uh, that one you don't need to pay you can just yeah, walk just up and walk down around and look at the cars but if you want to go in and see the show cars and all that then you you have to pay to get in yes and speaking of show cars wow what look a at beautiful that. red camaro yeah look at the size of that engine on that thing i think it's got turbochargers and supercharger on it man that is something else what a pretty color inside yeah, I was just telling Veronica the other day that the Hot Wheels with these big engines in them isn't realistic. And then we saw see this first thing in the door. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a 36 green and white sedan. We're not yeah. really sure. I don't know why they call it a sedan, because it's got yeah. a truck bed on it. Yeah, yeah but uh, we but, love the uh, color. Yeah. But yeah, it's gorgeous. Looks like I mean, it's look made, it. It looks like it's made out of candy. Colors are so it does beautiful. Remind you of candy, it does it? remind me of candy. These beautiful yeah. colors yeah. on these cars and the, that chocolate color in, interior, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous cars. I don't think I saw one car today that I wouldn't want for myself. I, I just can't afford them. I totally agree. <laughs> I totally agree. There, I mean, the people that do the work on this stuff is amazing. It is just absolutely amazing. You know, I've been wanting to go to the Rod Run for quite a while, and I'm not disappointed. Not at all. Is, is this a 1940s Ford, maybe? Yeah. 1940s Ford? What a beautiful color. I believe color. it was a 1940 Ford. Beautiful mm -hmm. color. Yeah. And folks, uh, forgive us if we're not 100% accurate on years and models. We're doing the best we can here. <laughs> Neither one of us are professional uh, judges on cars. <laughs> Beautiful interior. Oh, and they're stuff. so pretty yeah. to look at. Yeah. Look at that work. Wow. Yeah, we just love the beauty and appreciate the hard work that goes into these things. They're so shiny, you can see my reflection. Yeah, you're definitely going to see our reflection a lot today <laughs> in these cars. Yeah. And here's the uh, uh, orange and white four Fairlane Skyliner. Skyliner, yeah. Beautiful car. Just love this thing. See, that hood goes back into that trunk, and then the trunk closes down on top of it. So that's really neat. It's a hard top convertible, in other words. you know. So pretty. Love that yeah. orange and white oh, combination. Man. It's got the Tennessee colors, you know, the uh, University of Tennessee colors. Look at that dashboard. Mm -hmm. Wow. The little knobs on there mm -hmm. takes you back <laughs> it sure does don't it? <laughs> you know the neat thing about some of these cars is this is like this is what some people in their high school days could afford you know later like when they were 10 and 12 years old 15 years old cars you know and now they become classics you know <laughs> classics and very expensive yeah. <laughs> This is a this, Dodge. This is the Dodge Cornet. Okay. Yeah. 1967, huh? Yeah. And just, again, these engines and stuff are amazing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, granted, folks, some of these engines aren't original to the cars. <laughs> I think the majority are not originals. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of the cars, you can see underneath, they got mirrors underneath the cars so you can see how clean they are underneath and see what, you know, the construction and everything of the cars. It's really neat to see how you know they, mm -hmm. the models just change over the years and then they come back again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and these cars here, again, the ones that were inside the building are just, I mean, these are top-notch show cars. Now, the RT stands for Road and Track. I looked up. Oh, okay. Know, they had special uh, suspension and, you know, the engine power and stuff like that was better on the RTs. Okay. And here's a black and white Camaro. Yeah. 1967. Yeah, this is one Lori. Lori right. is yeah. the owner. We talked with her for a little bit. And yeah, it's a beautiful car. 
they were playing very loud music, very yeah. festive inside. But um, yeah, I mean, it was really festive environment, but you really couldn't interview people or can, anything yeah, like that because of the, the copyrights. copyrights on the music and yep. all that. Yep. But we did get yeah. a chance to meet some of the owners and speak yeah. with them, and that was a lot of fun to get more. Mm-hmm. More information from them on how they acquired these beautiful cars and how proud they are to have them. Yeah, you know, some did the work themselves. Some hired companies to do the work on the cars. Yeah, We've got a lot of good information. And if you've never been to the Rod Run, I highly recommend going. And here we are looking at a Chevy Corvair. 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 Mm-hmm. Stinger. Yeah. Red and black with color red and black stripes. And mm-hmm. I guess this is uh, the sign that they had in front of this one said it was one of 20. Yeah. So not many left, I and guess. You know, the Corvair, in case you don't know, is a rear engine car. A lot of people would joke about that it's the poor man's Porsche. <laughs> the, but the, the owner told me that they're actually older than the Porsche. Oh, with the rear. okay. The, the design is older than the Porsche. Oh, wow. Supposedly. Um, it's a beauty it's a beauty though and the guy his name's Casey he was real real proud of this car yeah. you know it was a souped up model there's Casey there and he I asked him if I could see the inside and he opened the door and it's mm-hmm. just as beautiful inside as it is yeah. outside and this, this gentleman was real proud of him and his son you know have a collection of Corvairs it sounds like and, uh, you have a couple different uh, ones. And we we did talk with him on camera, but because the music is so loud, we did have yeah, to... Yeah, we did have to cut the... Cut the sound, because it was difficult to hear him. And, and again, the copyrights with the music, um, we had to eliminate the sound. So we apologize, Casey. We wanted to get you get your voice on the video. We do appreciate you working with us, though. So. There's Casey in his car. Everybody having a really good time. Oh yeah, there's so many people walking around and enjoying themselves. You can just see the looks in their eyes and stuff. This looks to me like a 1930s. Um, yeah, it's I'm definitely not sure 1930s what model, but it's a. It looks like a forest green. Mm-hmm. with a light brown inside interior mm-hmm. like a caramel color interior mm-hmm. absolutely beautiful yeah looks like they put an automatic in it in, uh, automatic transmission that is in, uh, oh, it's really goodness. really nice so i love pretty. these cars the combination of the green and mm-hmm. the light brown mm-hmm. are so beautiful Love those old coops. So I'm thinking it might be a Ford. But anyhow, here's a Chevy. We're not I sure if this is think. 1955 or 56. I want to say it's uh, 55, possibly. But I could be wrong. Again, don't don't hate me if I got <laughs> it wrong. Because the 56 and the 55s for me are kind of hard to tell apart. And with a lot of these show cars people modify them a little bit too they may take a part from a, a 56 and put it on a 55 and vice versa i do know it's a chevy <laughs> and it was a bell air model what a pretty mm-hmm. color of that red and the white yeah so pretty mm-hmm. very beautiful i just loved you know the 55 56 57 chevys they're some of my favorite and my dad was a big fan of of cars and all that. He always loved car shows and he worked for General Motors and all that. So Yeah, you know, he, he knew he could tell the difference between he'd oh, tell yes. me right away yes. this was well that's a fifty five of course. Right? Yes, and I like those <laughs> yeah, I like the tail lights yeah. and the headlights. Yeah. It's really pretty shapes, I like that. It reminds me of a toy car that mm-hmm. I would have gotten at Christmas time mm-hmm. when I was little. Yeah. Another beautiful thing. Now this a, one here. A 1957 burnt yeah. orange red Chevy Bel Air. Mm-hmm. What a 
pretty color. This looks like a lighter brown, more like yeah. a latte coffee color mm -hmm. interior. Now, I know for a fact that this is the 57. I definitely can tell you the 57. <laughs> the 57 Chevy. <laughs> oh boy, that is so pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Makes you want to jump in there and start driving these. Oh you? man. <laughs> It's Folks are very dream. protective of these cars oh, too. Yeah. You gotta be real careful. Well, you got to. I mean, I Not hate too, uh, to spend as much money as they yeah. do. Only the paint jobs alone are thousands yes. of dollars. Yes, they're, and, these uh, are, they're babies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to scratch them. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. All the detail, Absolutely design beautiful. on these. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. And look at now that this, big trunk. Yeah, I was gonna say this is something I noticed. That the trunks all seem to be designed about the same. I don't know if it's the same people or if that's just the design they use. But I mean, that's not the way a trunk looked originally. Not the originally. Cars, you know? mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. 1960 Chevy Bel Air. Yeah. Red with silver yeah. stripes. At first, I thought it was a '58, but then I, you know, the guys correct me. It was a 1960 uh, Chevy. Yeah, it has silver stripes on the seats that are really yeah. neat oh, looking. I like yeah. the silver stripes on the interior. I love that engine too. <laughs> and again, that's not an original. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Oh my gosh. You know, I can see myself cruising in this one oh, up and I, down the street. I could see you cruising in that car. <laughs> yeah. That'd be really nice. Yeah. So much detail work that goes into yeah. these re restoring these cars. Yeah. And then a lot of folks put upgrades in them. You know, but they I mean you can definitely tell it's still that year and make and all that stuff. Um, I really love those silver stripes on the oh interior. Yeah. Really nice. Love the chrome and all that on the cars and the tail lights. Look at that. It's so this pretty. one was from Georgia. And, and this one here. 1955, black and white. Yeah, we didn't wasn't sure what the the manufacturer or model on this one was. We do know it's a 1955. Yeah, there was a lot of folks looking yeah. at these, so we were trying not yeah. to trip over each other. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard to get in and film, and you know, I was doing still photography while Veronica was doing filming and with the uh, video camera. Love the big white walls. Yes, <laughs> very nice. So I apologize for not knowing the uh, the make and model of That's this. That's okay. One. I like looking at them, even yeah. if I don't know what model they are. I just thoroughly enjoy looking at these. Now they, cars. they did have the. The make and models on the on that like that little flyer you see on the seat, uh, it did, you know, say who the manufacturer was and what year it was and all that. But uh, I can't I read. Catch that. them all the time. I can't yeah. read that tiny. Font. I thought, well, you know, we got it on film. <laughs> I'll have it, you know. And then when we go to try to look at it, it was like, oh, I can't read it after all. <laughs> it's too small. Yeah. <laughs> but by the license plate, I definitely could tell that it was a 1955 car. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then you got another Camaro. 1972, a Dodge Dart. Oh, this was the Dart. Oh, Dart. wait a minute. Or is this no. the Camaro? No, 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 I'm sorry. This is the... Yeah, this is the Cam the red Camaro. This is... I'm sorry. That's the red Camaro. Yeah, the red Camaro. Yep. Yeah. Got out of order there. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I thought it was a Camaro. I was like, uh oh <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know what year this one was, so... It, I'm guessing it's either 68, 69 in that vein and again forgive me if i'm wrong that's okay but uh you know this is the era that i worked on a lot of the cars like in a high school auto shop because that's what people could afford when i was in high school was like the late 60s and early 70s models no oh, okay you know i had a buddy reagan that uh, had a 68 firebird that we had in the auto shop quite a bit oh <laughs> and then my dad and brother Don, we helped him change an engine in that car once. <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, it is. This is the 1972 Dodge Dart. Yeah, this is the Dodge Dart. It, this is a, a midnight blue. Yeah. I was telling my son-in-law he needs that engine in his uh, 
uh, Chrysler product car. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a classic car that he wants to work on. I said, yeah, put this engine in it, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful uh, car. Yeah. This Dodge Dart, though. Again, this is what people had when I was in high school. You know, Dodge Dart. But not with that fancy of an engine. <laughs> in paint job and wheels and... <laughs> it's just, and it's really amazing that folks, you know, bring come in from all over the country. Yeah. And this one came in from uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. So yeah. yeah. A lot of North Carolina, Georgia. We even had people from Ari Nevada and, and Arizona. Arizona. Mm -hmm. California. Indiana, Michigan. Yeah. Yep. Cars from all over, folks. I mean, if you really want to go to a nice car show, this is one to go to. Absolutely. You know, I mean, there's gorgeous cars on the outside too, on the strip. But man, if you go inside to the building, oh, man, these cars are awesome. Look at that light color, uh, like a light yeah, tan. Yeah, it's real nice. Mm. Real clean looking, really, mm. really pretty. But a Dodge Dart, man, those were really, I mean, it's something I liked back when I was young, is the Dodge Dart. And they, they wasn't built like this one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so beautiful. Again, I just feel like I'm looking at a car that's made out of candy. Yeah. It's so it's shiny so and pretty. Shiny and Colors are so vibrant. Yeah. It says a red Pontiac, but we weren't sure if it's a 62. Oh, it's a 62. I think I do know that. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. It was a 1962. And it looks like it has a little bit more of original style engine in it. Um. You know, it doesn't look like it's, uh, you know, all tricked out for racing and stuff. So it was a little bit more to the original style. But yeah, this was a, a, a 1962 model. I, I would want to park this inside my house. I probably wouldn't even yeah, park know, you it don't in want the garage. Yeah, you don't want to park it in the garage. You know, it's like bring it into the living room. Right, yes, it's so too I can pretty. Uh, keep it clean while I'm watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they're so yeah. pretty. I'm like, I'd be yeah. afraid to park it in the garage yeah. if something happened to it. I'm going to hang to fall over on it. <laughs> That's so beautiful inside, too. Yeah. Yeah, this was a nice car. Again, there's so many nice cars here to look at and see. Shiny tires, too. Yeah. Pontiac. This one was Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Tennessee license plate. And again, if I was wrong on the year, forgive me. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it was a 1962. <laughs> and here we're looking at a black El Camino. El Camino, yeah. If you're not familiar with an El Camino, they're cool cars, man. They were, they were part car, part truck. Kind of like, it's kind of like a Chevelle, a Chevy Chevelle, but then a, with a pickup truck bed. <laughs> yeah, that is really yeah. cool. <laughs> so the, the people that had these were, you know, and they were, they were fast. You know, even back in the day, they were fast. I love that blue color, that blue interior, oh, yeah. kind of like almost like a sky blue, but a little bit deeper, more rich. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, they just didn't have a lot of room in them. Basically, two seats. <laughs> and I don't know if they, if some of them had bench seats or not, but for the most part, I think they had bucket seats. Yeah, sort of like a sports car, right? Yeah. Oh, definitely a sports car, for <laughs> sure. That you could, you know, throw something in the the bed. <laughs> Couldn't haul a lot with it, but, you know, it did uh, it did have a bed. But man, man, these, these really take me back, though, to my you high school years and when I was in the Marines and stuff. A lot of my buddies had these, you know, cool cars, too, when I was in the Marines. You know. My buddy Big Al had a 58 Chevy that was real cool. 
And so this is a 1956 Six Ford, Ford truck. Yeah. Now see, I'm partial to these uh, old Ford trucks because my dad had a 53 Ford truck that looks real similar to this. But it only had a six cylinder and it didn't have this big 427 in it. Uh, but man, it was one of the, well, it's the first truck I drove, you know, mm -hmm. when we'd go haul trash out to the trash area, the farm we lived on, uh, you know, he'd let us drive once we got in the pasture area. Mm. And this has mm. a really beautiful, rich brown interior that mm. just looks gorgeous against that black paint. Mm -hmm on the outside, yeah, this, this absolutely beautiful. Definitely a lot fancier than the one my dad had. Beautiful, this is beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Super nice. Again, so shiny that it's like a mirror. It picks oh, up yeah, everything absolutely. around it. So you're lucky you're not getting yourself in the shot every time. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the rich Chevy Nomad now, yeah, station this here, wagon. This one here looks like it has the, the grill of a 56 maybe, but then the lights of a 55. So I don't know. It's either 55 or 56. Or oh, is this the Nomad? This, this, is, this, this is, is the Nomad. This is the Nomad with the sliding oh, windows that I yeah. thought were really cool. And yeah. this, this silver interior. Now the Nomad, if you didn't know it, was a, a, a two-door station wagon. And it uh, the, t the roof had these lines in it that really looked cool. So with those two doors, you have to climb in through the front to yeah. front seat area to get to yeah, the back. to get to the back seat, yeah. <laughs> Which was like a, any two-door car of that time. Yeah, it's yeah. a little uncomfortable doing that. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you, know, you had to fold that seat forward and then mm -hmm. get back there. But I really like that sliding window. Oh, man. I think that's really neat. I just, I love the Chevy Nomad. Oh, that's, and this is a beautiful car, Look at folks. that beautiful back. This, oh, my goodness. This a lot of, flat lot of beautiful, beautiful detail design on it. And yeah. I love those tail lights. Mm -hmm. Kind of like real pretty eyes looking at you, mm -hmm. and like almost like it's smiling at you. Yeah, <laughs> like it's got a happy face on. <laughs> and it's a Corvette Stingray, and it was either a, I want to say it was somewhere in the you know 1963 to 66 range. Beautiful car though, uh, you know convertible. This one was convertible. I think they had another one in there that was uh, a little bit more of a fastback, you know, stingray. Yeah. I like it. It's beautiful, man. I, I mean, I'd love to have a Corvette myself. But, you know, <laughs> uh, those years. Uh, First, we got to win the lottery. In yeah, that, that's the main thing you got to do. And of course, you know you can't win if you don't play, type of thing. You know. Yeah. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Yeah, that's a beautiful car. So. Yeah. And here we're looking at 1967 Ruby Red Chevy Nova. Nova, yeah. It may have been the the Nova when it first started out was called a Chevy Two also. So I don't know if this one here started off as being called a Chevy 2 or if it actually had the name Nova right out of the get-go. Mm. Um, but man, they're, uh, uh, this was beautiful. It has a, uh, this one has a brown interior, mm -hmm. more like a, like a camel color. And Steve was asking me what the difference is between a camel color and a brown color. And I said, well, the camel is a little bit more of a yellow tone to it. Ah, let's see that. Uh, has a little bit more of a yellow tone, but it's still very beautiful. I didn't know if it was had to do something with the humps. You know, like you got the one hump camel or the, and the two hump camel. You know. No, it's just the color. It looks like the color of the camel. <laughs> oh, no, 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 this is like the two hump camel. Look. Gosh, that was way off. Yeah. And oh. here's a 1966 Merlot Red. 
Cadillac. Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was going to call is... it a cranberry red, but then there mm. they did have a sign with details uh, on it, and they're uh, calling it. Actually, no, it was a license, it was a license plate. plate. Yeah. And they're calling it a Merlot. 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 I'm like, that makes sense. Like the wine Merlot. Yeah. So yeah, this I mean this this car's gorgeous. But, uh, and I would feel really safe driving. <laughs> this is a big car. Big sturdy car. Yeah. You know, this is this is something I wish I could afford to get my granddaughter, you know, when she starts <laughs> to drive. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, how much for this car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh LC, you be real careful yeah, driving that. <laughs> I mean, be too big for her at least. <laughs> yeah. and is this a Camaro we're looking at now? Yeah, this is a Camaro. Oh, the Z28. Okay. The Z28 Camaro. Yes. Yeah. Blue with black stripes. Yeah. That's the oh, Rally Sport. I, another mm -hmm. another beauty. And the Z28. Oh, and this is like a pro stock uh, drag racer Camaro. You told me it has a parachute in the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's set up for drag racing. And the wheelie bars. The wheelie bars there, mm -hmm. you know, to keep it from front end from coming up too much and it keeps the power down on the road. Ooh, and then this 1938 International Harvester. It's a beautiful red and black harvester. And uh, we also got oh, to... Oh, yeah, we got to talk to Karen. Uh, oh, Karen and Joe and Dorsey Joe. are the yeah. owners of this beautiful yeah. truck. Yeah, they originally... They said it was originally used on an apple farm in Oregon. And then they bought it from the second owner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but this is Karen. She was real sweet. Real really nice people. really enjoyed talking with Very her. nice people. And her husband, Joe. Yes. We talked with them for quite a while. Really nice folks. I believe they they purchased it from the second owners in 2010, so they've had mm. it for a little yeah. while. This is the Corvette Corvette Stingray uh, with the fastback. It's uh, it's I want to say it's probably you know in it, that 63 to 66 range again. Uh, again, I apologize for not knowing the exact year. But it's that early 60s. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, was a 1962 62. Chevy. A Buick yeah. champagne color. Or Buick, I'm sorry. I said Chevy, oh, didn't that's I? That's all right. It's, yeah. a, it's, Buick. A Buick. it's a General Motors product. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that really pretty white yeah. uh, interior. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah. With the it's silver really backs. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Oh, goodness. We were like this. two kids in a candy oh, store looking at these I cars. Know. Here I am. That's catch a little glimpse of me with my <laughs> my uh regular camera around my neck there and, and a 1940 ford pickup pickup. truck That's purchased nice. originally for 45 dollars in 1959 well this this was how much that person paid for it in 1959 yes. 1940 yes. it cost a different amount yeah yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> But the person who bought it in 1959 only paid only paid 40, forty-five dollars for it. Yeah. Imagine that! Wow, yeah. how inflation has uh, gone oh, up. Oh man, it's something else. <laughs> so I remember, you know, people in high school. Like my brother Don bought a Mustang for like five hundred bucks back, you know, in the late seventies. Wow! And this is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Yeah. Red, I'm sorry, we're still red. on the pickup truck. Oh, are we still on the pickup truck? We're still I'm on the pickup truck. Oh, I'm sorry, I looked away. And... Yeah. Okay. There we go. There. Now there's That's the, the 1955 55. Red yeah. Chevy Bel Air. I know this one is a 55 because it says so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one, I believe, had a white cream interior in it. Yeah. You know, again, I just love the 55s, 56s, and 57 Chevys. I think they were some of the General Motors' best products oh, as far yes. as appearance you know cream, cream interior yeah. yes this had the cream interior yeah. beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah. you're not allowed to eat inside this car no you wouldn't be able to eat that car <laughs> if i owned it you wouldn't be able to eat that car. No. if i owned it you wouldn't be allowed i, to I was gonna car. say i wouldn't even be close to it probably if you owned it yeah, yeah. And then we uh, oh, 
of a, a Dutch challenger yeah. in what they call tos- toxic guacamole. Yeah. I call it green. Yeah. <laughs> toxic guacamole. <laughs> With black stripes. Yeah, that's amazing. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, what a beautiful color. Yeah. Amazing, amazing 1970 Challenger. Here are the details, the names of the different companies that help uh, repair it and fix it and paint it and do all kinds of things to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh, 1978 Firebird Trans or yeah, Firebird Trans Am, Pontiac Firebird mm-hmm. Trans Am. Yep. It's something that Smokey would or the Bandit would be proud to. Oh, uh, okay, okay. It's mm-hmm. a silver on the outside with red on the inside. Yeah. Really pretty. There's that firebird emblem. Yeah. And then we saw a 1969 red Pontiac GTO. Yeah, the goat. And it's a judge, GTO judge. And it was, it was just, you know, spotless. It's just beautiful car. Again, a lot of folks, you know, had the GTOs back when I was in high school. Yeah. That's a real pretty car, too. It is. And now we are looking at a 1957 blue and white Chevy Bel Air. Mm-hmm. And this one here was set up for the track. And I was talking to the owner. And I said, do you, you still race this thing? Or, you know, asking him, you know, like, you know, do you race it? Because it's set up to be a race. It's got nitrous and everything on it. And uh, he said, oh. He said, people that build these cars like here don't really race them yeah. <laughs> there's just too much money in it <laughs> i can understand it's like, that yeah yeah i get it yeah you know. look at the bucket mm. seats in there oh my goodness yeah. it makes you want to jump yeah. in there and race it for well, sure this guy was from uh, <laughs> indiana. auburn indiana so yes. we got to talk with him you know because you know I mean, we've lived a lot of years in indiana also can you imagine jumping in there and just taking off yeah. Oh Catch man! Catch me if you can. Yeah, you those <laughs> nitrous on there. It's like, ugh. That would be something. I would love to drive that car. I mean, I just just once, just drive it. You know, as long as I had, you know, like two football fields on each side of me, and you know, more than a quarter mile in front of me and then behind me. You know, yeah. yeah just yes. Don't want anybody getting close. Yeah, I'd have to take out a loan though to probably afford the gas to feel it to run it to the (laughs) (laughs) this thing uh, probably gets a half a mile to the gallon maybe I don't know that's that's an interesting thought I hadn't thought about that you're right the prices of gas is continuing to go up who knows Uh, Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And then we saw what we believe may be a 1935 yeah. um, red and silver something. <laughs> yeah, with suicide doors. It's definitely got suicide doors, and it's something. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's a. Um, I don't know how much of an original vehicle this is, but it sure looks sharp. Um, you know, it's somewhere in the the early to mid 30s, I'm guessing. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Again, I apologize for not knowing the exact year and model, but I don't think it's original. <laughs> <laughs> and then they also had vendors uh, on site, yeah. and we got to uh, meet Steve and Amanda, who own the Iron Resurrection Resurrection uh, business. Yeah, and uh, anyway, so we're going to leave their information yeah. in our description. So if yeah. you see something. If you want to get a hold of these people, they can make you, uh, sure, like yeah. this is a fire pit. Yep. And they make all these things like the 
Millennium Falcon and jets and they said they can make you know whatever car as long as they got a picture of it they can make a you know a car if you have a certain type of car that you would want one of these metal uh, plates made out of they could do that very nice people very nice we had a great time at the rod run so if you like the videos that we're bringing you please feel free to subscribe to our channel and click that like button and the little bell as well and it'll alert you when we upload new videos Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.